Hello, my name is Kristen, and today we are going to go through a core focused, quick 13 minute flow. If you want to add ankle weights to your ankles, you're more than welcome to do so, or you can do this class with your own body weight. I am going to try it with my own body weight to start. So we are going to start off seated on our mats. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Your feet are about hip width distance apart and they're flat uh, down on the mat, firmly planted. You're gonna reach your hands forward. You can reach your hands out a little bit wider to the sides if you like. And then from here, we're just gonna slowly start to roll back, coming all the way down onto our backs, but going as slow as we can. And then when your chest arrives down on the mat, you're gonna inhale, and then you're gonna exhale, curling all the way back up the way we came. Sitting up tall when you arrive, and then just doing that a few more times. So rolling back, really tucking the tailbone under, scooping the belly in, belly button towards the spine the whole time. Breathing, rolling slowly all the way down to your back. Inhale when you arrive, arms reach up. Exhale, sitting all the way up, same thing. Tucking, a little bit of shaking maybe, sitting all the way up, and one more of those. Rolling all the way back down. Reaching the hands out long and active the whole time. Inhale, arms reaching up overhead. Exhale, curl, belly button towards the spine, chest reaches up, maybe a little shake. And then inhale, arriving at the top. From here, we're gonna lower about halfway down. Feet are still planted firmly into the mat. Arms are reaching forward, shoulders away from the ears. And then when you're about halfway, you feel like you wanna fall backwards or push yourself back up, just holding here, belly button in, tailbone down. And then we're just gonna pulse from here. So we're gonna reach up and back, up and back. So about two inches going forward and then back. Chest is so broad. Feet are still down. For three, two, one. Come halfway down. Turn yourself towards the right side of your room, both hands reaching towards the right. And we're just gonna pulse from there, up and down. For four, three, two, one, hold at the top, turn yourself towards the left side of your room, come halfway down, and then pulse up. Keep breathing. For four, three, fronts of the thighs are really firing here, keeping the, hip, the feet down. Two, one, reach it up, reach towards the center, and then you can bring your hands behind your knees and we're going to rock and roll the length of the spine so just take a few nice rocks and rolls breathing and then when you arrive you're going to cross your ankles plant your hands step yourself back into a tabletop position from tabletop here we're going to curl through our toes hover the knees right away make sure our shoulders are stacked right over our wrists and then from here we're just going to step back with both feet for a high plank and then stepping both feet in one at a time for that turbo table. Step the feet back, and then step the feet in. So knees are staying hovering the whole time, we're not putting the knees down. Slight bend in the elbows so we're not locking out our arms. Just alternating, stepping back and forward. And when you step back, trying to step back, really active in the legs, press out through the heels, reaching the legs long. For two more, keep going. And last one, coming to your turbo table, holding on here, one more inhale, exhale. And then from here, step yourself back, high plank, just for one breath, inhale. From there, exhale, you're gonna lower your knees down, carve the elbows straight back, find yourself in a sphinx pose. So elbows are gonna come to the mat, palms are pressing down, and then Tops of the feet are also pressing down. They can be as wide as your mat. Inhale, drag the chest forward, stretching out the front of the belly. 
You can look forward or you can look slightly down at your thumbs, just keeping the back of your neck long. Press pubic bone into the mat as you drag yourself forward, stretching out all the front of your abdominals. One more inhale. And then from here, we're gonna come into a forearm plank. So hands are gonna stay down, just as they were, palms are pressing down into the mat. From here, you're gonna curl through your toes, lift your hips up off of the mat. So we're in a forearm plank. Our forearms are about hip-width distance apart. You can step your feet so the big toes are touching. Really press down through the elbows, protract the shoulder blades, hips are sinking, belly button is drawing in towards your spine. Really strong in your forearm plank here. And then from here, we're just gonna tap the knees down, press them straight. Tap the knees, press them straight. For five more, four. Keep pressing through the bottoms of your forearms to keep your shoulders nice and strong so we're not collapsing through the upper body. Two, one, find that high plank, or sorry, forearm plank, one more inhale, shaking maybe. And then as you exhale, knees come down, belly comes down, sphinx pose. One nice long breath here. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna bring the hands behind the, beside the shoulders. You're gonna curl through your toes, press yourself all the way up for a high plank. And then from here, you're gonna roll to the outside edges of both feet. Left arm is gonna reach up to the sky. So we're in a side plank, feet are stacked, or they can be staggered. So stacked would be like this, staggered would be here, wherever you feel the most stable. And then from here, we're gonna lower the hips, reach the hips high. Let the hips lower about two or three inches and then press them high. And you can look up at your left hand, really squeezing the obliques as you lower the hips. Two. One, squeeze it up nice and high, press, press, press. Holding here for three, two, one. Left hand comes down, rolling to the outside edges of both feet. Right arm reaches up to the sky, taking the other side. So starting wherever you feel the most stable. And then from here, just lowering the hips, lifting them up. Lower three inches, lift them up three inches. Can look up at that right hand. Keep breathing. For four, three, two, one. Press the hips up high, keep them high. Holding here, looking up at that right hand for four, three, two, one. Right hand comes down. Press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just pedal out the feet here. Pedaling yourself in a down dog. And then from that down dog, we're gonna inhale, reach our right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee is gonna come to the nose, tap. Inhale, kick it up, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, tap. Really squeeze your abdominals here. As you exhale, exhale all the air out so you can really round your knee in towards your nose. Tap it. Last one. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, tap and hold. Squeeze, press everything away. Protract the shoulder blades. Two, one. Inhale, arm. Right leg reaches up. Exhale, down, pedal out the feet. Taking that on the other side. So inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale up, exhale, knee to nose, squeeze. Use your breath here, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, squeeze, hold it. Inhale, leg reaches up, exhale down. Find yourself on your knees, sit your hips back, bring your hands to the tops of your thighs, Palms facing up, let your shoulders roll away from your ears. Just take a breath. Inhale deep through your nose. Exhale all the air out of your mouth. 
Gently blink your eyes open, and then we'll just find ourselves. Sit over onto one side, coming back down onto your our backs, just finishing off with a little core burner, and then we'll be done. So just find yourself all the way back on your mat. Your hands can come behind your head, cradling your head with your hands. Feet are in tabletop position. Actually, sorry. Let's do hands pressing down on the mat beside you. Palms facing down. Feet are in table, or legs are in table. Tailbone is pressing down into the mat really firmly the whole time. And then we're just gonna lower right heel, tap the mat, bring it back up. Lower left heel, tap the mat, bring it up. Keep going. Alternating tabletop heel taps here. Your tailbone is pressing the whole time. You're using your arms to keep you nice and steady. So pressing into the mat with your arms, also engaging the arms the whole time. Four, three, two, one. Knees and table. Now we're gonna bring the hands behind the head. And from here, we're just gonna inhale. Chest is gonna pulse up to the sky. You can look at your belly button, protect your neck. Tailbone still pressing. You can press out through the bottoms of your toes. Everything active, everything engaged. For four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top, squeeze. And exhale, chest down. Right elbow is gonna go to the left knee and we're gonna hold this bicycle crunch. So right leg is gonna go long. And then from here, we're just gonna pulse, tap, knee to elbow. For four, three, two, wait, I lied, two more, two, <laughs> one, squeeze, hold, knee to elbow. Inhale, switch, find that bicycle on the other side. Left leg goes long, R left elbow goes to the right knee. And then from here, we're just gonna pulse, tap, tap. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, back to center. Let your head come down, hug your knees in and hug them out wide. Take a nice deep belly breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. You can rock side to side. And then whenever you're ready, just find yourself in a comfortable Seated position, closing down the eyes, slowing down the breath, feeling the heat and the warmth we just cultivated in our core, in our bodies. And I'll invite you if you have any extra time to take any one of my other classes. If that's all you had time for, then just thanking yourself for making it on your mat no matter what. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I will see you soon.